guys. My name is Steven from uh, Faculty of Mechanical and Chemical Engineering at Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology from Department of Material Engineering. Please, if this is your first time watching this video or my video on your or on your channel, that's on my YouTube channel, please um, subscribe for more and more. So today's video or today's tutorial is on introduction to number theory. So um, this is a course in the university and um, I think the code is math 151. So we are going to start with the raw number system as in the number system and how it goes about. So we are going to start with the natural numbers. Now when we talk about natural numbers as in natural numbers, they start with one. That is the commence with one and ends at infinity. So natural numbers is one, two, three, up to infinity, also called positive integers, are used in counting members of a set. The simple varied with times. Example, the Roman numerals uses I, 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 V, and the rest. The sum A plus B and the product A times B or AB of any two natural numbers, A and B, is also a natural number. So this um, is very important to know this, that when you multiply two natural numbers, like two times three, give you six which is six is a natural number that is what they are trying to see are you getting it so this is often expressed by saying that the set of natural mem uh, numbers is closed under operation of addition and multiplication this means that when you add two plus three is five five is a natural number as the same applies to two times three is six six is a natural number so this is a rule you need to know so now we have some properties under the natural numbers. So let's check for the first property, which is the, um, so we have the addition and the multiplication. So with the associativity, this is the associativity, that is A plus bracket open B plus C is equal to A plus bracket this. Now for you to verify that these um, rules are very correct, you can replace them with your own number to verify. So this is the associativity property in addition and this is the commutative property that is a plus b is equal to b plus a which means two times three is the same as three times two let's go to the um distributive with a distributive this is multiplying this and this is multiplying that so this is the distributive property when it comes to the addition so and this is for the multiplication we have the multiplication one so to verify these rules you need to replace them with what alphabet oh sorry with numbers for you to know that whether they are the same so this is the natural number so with this you can do your own exercise by putting all these rules into your head replacing them with your own numbers and verifying them and that's very good for that and i know you do that so let's move on to the next one the second one is integers so as we talk about integers that is um, negative integers and zero denoted by negative one, negative two. So, you know, we have positive and negative integers. So, um, x plus b is equal to a, where a and b are any natural numbers. This leads to operation of subtraction or inverse of addition. And we write x is equal to a minus b as in like you are trying to make as a subject so we have some properties with integers so we have the associativity commutivity distributive this is uh the zero identity that is a plus zero is equal to a which is equal to zero plus a there it is identity here that is one times any number is the same number the transitivity if a is greater than b and b is greater than c automatically it will be greater than what c that's what i want to see and they try kotomi is a being greater than b and b less than and a less than b or a is equal to b so a can be greater than b or a can be less than b or a can be equal to b and we have the cancellation law which is if a times c is equal to b times c and c is not equal to zero, then 
A is equal to B. Let's move on. Now we are coming back to the rational numbers. The rational numbers and the irrational numbers sometimes confuses a lot of people. But with the rational numbers, they can be expressed as a fraction, that is A over B, where B should be equal to zero. And it can be reduced to a simple form, that is, rational numbers or fractions, such as 2 over 3, negative 5 over 4, are used to permit solution of equation, such as bx is equal to a, for all integers, a and b, where b should be equal to what, 0. So, for understanding, um, rational numbers are like fraction. They can be expressed as a over b, right? Yes. And... Um, the set of integers is a subset of rational numbers. So note this, the set of integers is a subset of rational numbers. Since integers correspond to rational numbers, where b is equal to 1. But with the irrational numbers, it can never be expressed as a fraction. That is, irrational numbers can never be expressed as a over b. That is, it can never be expressed as what? A fraction. That is irrational numbers. They can never be expressed as a fraction. That's what you need to know. So we have numbers that cannot be expressed as a fraction, like root 2, root 3, pi, root 5. These numbers can not be expressed as a quotient of A over B. That is meaning A can it cannot be expressed as a fraction. That is A over B. Right? Yes. And the set of rational and irrational numbers are called the set of row numbers. So when you combine rational and irrational numbers, you get what row numbers. Now, thank you very much for watching this video. Watch out for the next tutorial, which is principle of mathematical induction. Um, please, if this is your first time as in watching my YouTube video, please subscribe for more videos. Thank you very much.